All right, I'm gonna make this a quick one. This is the Wii Remote mouse hack for your PC or laptop. So um, this is all the things we need. This is a Bluetooth dongle. We can get one of those from Poundland. This is a Wiimote. You can get it from, I'm joking. You can get it from any local game store or eBay. This is a lighter. And this is two candles. But instead of two candles and the lighter, you can also get the wireless battery powered um, sensor bar. First things first, you want to go to the first link in the description and you want to download GlovePi. So once you're on this website, press I already have 100% green power, I'm ready to download GlovePi. It's just a little cheesy shit that he did. He did. Um, and you want to click on the first one with GlovePi 0.45. And as you can see, it's as you cannot see. As you can see, it's downloaded. It's downloaded as a zip file. Um. <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to click that, and. You want to extract all. Extract. Once it's extracted, you wanna go down to Pi Free and open it. Press yes. And if you get that error, you wanna click Link Three over here, and you wanna scroll down, and you wanna play, press Download D D Three D X Nine Three Three. D DLL and press download zip file. Do not press that. Press download zip file. Because you don't want their program, which is probably going to ask you for money. And once it's downloaded, you want to click it. Extract all. Extract it. And that DLL over here you wanna right click cut close it and you wanna go back to glove pie the extracted file Yep, this is the extracted one. And what you want to do is you want to press paste. Now, if you double click Pi Free and you press yes, it will open and run. Now, the software side is done. So now that the software side of things is over and done with, you want to insert your Poundland Bluetooth dongle or any other Bluetooth dongle you probably bought from Maplin or something and insert it, wait for the drivers to load up, get your Wii Remote and find the red button at the back. So um, shit. I have to put my camera down. Alright, slight change in angle, but we're gonna open that. Sh and open this. And there's the red. Wait. Where's the red button? Oh, there's the red button over there. And it would help to have batteries and if the camera was focused. Then you just want to put your batteries in. And then go to your start menu if you're on Windows 7 or your start menu on Windows 8 if you got the um 
classic start menu hack I might put down a different video and basically you want to search for add a device add a Bluetooth device um, and that's the <clears throat> that's how to get the start menu for Windows 8 uh, there's a Somalian child next door shouting and let's search this add a device add a device is adequate and once that starts you want to press the red button You want to keep pressing the red button, just press it once and keep holding until input device comes, just wait until it comes as a Nintendo or something. And then what you want to do is you want to keep holding the red button, keep holding it and you want to go through this wizard, so never let go during the whole wizard and press next and there's no password so you just press next and you want to keep holding it whilst the drivers load up just keep holding it now you can let go finally and and you can put your battery cover on and you can put your cover on you don't have to have Wii Motion Plus by the way in case you get confused now the four lights should be blinking rapidly like a crazy motherfucker and you need to move on to your computer I need to open GlovePie again so the easiest thing to do to easily locate GlovePie would be to copy the extra extracted folder to to the desktop so um it's cut and paste once you've copied glovepi to your desktop you want to click on the folder you want to right click on this and press run as administrator you want to press yes and then you want to go to link 2 in the description and you want to and you'll come to this website and you want to scroll down and copy everything in this text box tech text text box and basically this is the script for the Wii, Wii um, controller mouse and you just want to paste it in here paste <clears throat> and before you click run you want to get your candles or your Wii remote um, uh, sorry Wii sensor bar wireless so let me just get my candles then you're gonna set the candles up like that and you're gonna just light up the candles or even better do that I just got new fuel from Poundland I'm scared it might explode fucking scary shit Poundland so once you have that you can finally um, let me use my mouse. You can finally press run and press it a few, quite a few times. Run, stop, run, stop, and then run. And then it should stay stop. Don't press stop. Minimize it. Minimize it. And it should be working. And it is working very beautifully for me if I pull it back I don't think you can see the pointer on the screen I've got an idea 
I should go to paint and get black boom and zoom in and and full screen there we go now we can see the full beauty of it there it's going around oops <laughs> so yeah that is how to do it for those people who have been bugging me for some if it doesn't work when you connect your Wii remote that to fix that you want to go to the Bluetooth icon you want to right click press open settings and when this settings comes you want to allow it so make sure that is checked and you want to press apply this only occurs to some people but if it occurs to you be sure to do that peace out